Hmm. Are you ready for the four shots? I am ready. Okay, let's start with this one. This is a shot taken with a 70mm lens from Sigma. And it's also... Okay, now I took all the settings from the picture before. Hmm, looks pretty nice already. Uh, and um, I used a um, polarizer for it. Actually, the polarizer from Sigma. And it uh, really, really brings the... Uh, the colors become so dense, almost too dense. So let's start here. First of all, this is not really a sunlight situation. This is sunlight, but it's so late, so I will call it shade. And um, you can also see that the color wheel had some adjustments already made. We can see here, I mean, this type of picture here now, it's really, really difficult to really know what the light was at the time, so it's really up to you to find something that looks nice. Uh, even if you had a grey card at the moment, the yellow sunlight would make the grey card worthless. So it's really up to you. Just point and click on the, uh, the color wheel and see if you find something that suits your taste. That's about it, really. Uh, you can uh, check the exposure as you normally should. You check the histogram to see if everything is alright. And then, when you're done, you press the Save X3F setting button, as you should. In case you just wanna, don't want to just throw it on the desk, and then you have the saved settings. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the next one. Have this one. This is one of those moments, you know, when the sun is on the way down, and you have this really, really colorful sky. And uh, in this case, uh, ta-ta! Exposures up a little bit here from the last picture. We reset here the colors. It's put at shade. I think shade is a good one. And uh, let's see if we can find a good color here. Mm, I think this is very nice. Uh, so by playing with the color wheel, you can find colors that is more suitable for a certain situation. Uh, you can also here add a little bit of fill light to gain some of that. Uh, detail in the shadows, but look how beautiful it is. It's really, really stunning. Wow. Okay, let's continue to the next one. Mm, we have this one. This is actually a small island outside Gothenburg, where Volvo, uh, once upon a time, uh, created a lot of small houses, like a summer, summer place for its employees. And uh, later they left it, and it's sort of in ruins right now. Um, but this is uh, one of the houses from that place. And let's go inside here. You can see that uh, this is taken with a uh, 10 to 20, and it's really, really nice lens. It can create stunningly sharp images. And uh, mm, to get a good exposure here. The exposure itself is pretty good already because you see the house is brightly lit. So even if the histogram shows that it's on the dark side, you know that if you push the exposure now, you would have an overexposed house and you don't really want that. So to, to get the picture correct, I think you would stay about the same exposure as it was shot in. But the colors could be even further enhanced because the wood, uh, not the wood, I mean the stone here, the mountain, is perhaps a good place to uh, pick the color and see what happens. You can click around a little bit and see if there's any place that works better. You can see what happens if you click on the color in the shadow or in the sunlight. And then if you have your eyes set on this color wheel, you can later just move around from the different places that you just saw. Also have your eyes set on the blue sky. You know, a correct blue. Now, for example, you can see that the blue is off. It looks more like magenta. So that looks awful. Uh, you can see here that the blue is sort of greenish. And that looks off too. So keep your eye on the blue. And uh, sometimes that's enough. You can keep your eye in there and just move around. And then you will f find something that looks good. And then probably the rest of the picture looks good too. Uh, of course, this... This um, 
you need to have a calibrated screen in order to do this. Okay, so let's continue to the next shot. And here we have, it's on cheap, and they look pretty beautiful. Actually, when I shot it, I had it shot in sunlight. And let's see here, I don't understand why reset brings me to the center. It's strange. Hmm? Uh, but in sunlight, it looks a tiny bit off. So I will go back and change to shade because they are actually in the shade. You know, we've been over this before. <coughs> and also, uh, I will add a little bit of that yellow magenta push because. I was there and it looks better that way. It looks more real. Mm. Fish a little bit of light and we add a little bit of shadow too. And we add a little bit of saturation. Let me see what happens. Oh, this looks nice. You can see how much you save, you know, nothing is is gone, it's just beautiful. Mm. Okay, so you see here now that I just by moving these slightly and uh, picking the right white balance, you can make pictures look amazingly good. And this is by the way the 50 to 500 lens, and you can see here when the computer is done, how beautiful it looks. Okay, so this was the first uh, the four pictures in the fast flow. Uh, in the next video, I will look at some of the pictures taken by Rick Decker, a very nice guy and a very good photographer. Alright, so over and out.